Alright guys, episode 7 here, and uh, we decided to pick up a couple of running backs and look through and uh, decided to go with Trent Richardson, uh, Eddie Lacy's former teammate, I think, in Alburn, Alabama, I mean, I think they, see, he's 26 in his fifth year, Eddie Lacy is 26 in his third year, they may have played together. We may have played together. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. So we decided to bring Trent Richardson in to replace um, Trey Archer, who's broken at the moment, and uh, play the Cowboys. Um, there was there were a lot of options. There was uh, well, I can show you. I, I contemplated a couple of them. I contemplated uh, Aaron Foster because he's He's there already, and he's a 79, you know, so uh, Jonas Gray, eh? you know, some, I don't know if he has playoff experience yet, but he will. Toby Gerhardt, you know, he's, he kind of flamed out a little bit, but he's still in the game. Uh, we could have gone Demon Harris and brought him back as Bishop Shanky from Washington. Uh, Demon Harris would have been former Packer. Could have even got John Crockett off the practice squad, but decided not to do that and just go with Trent Richardson for the one-two punch from Alabama. And I'm going to do our training and I'm going to make some notes and start the game. I'll see you in a second. Alright, so this game started off with uh, the Packers driving down the field and Jordy Nelson fumbled. Ronald McLean, Ronald McLean smashed him the ball and then so they threw a deep pass that Tony Romo threw a deep pass that's a that's in um, had a deep threw a deep pass and ha ha Clint, Clinton Dix jumped up in the air snagged it out of the air got the ball back Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are driving down Dallas just challenged this play here and as you saw it was upheld Packers are in business on the eight yard line Back to pass Aaron Rodgers, who comes a blitz, he's got to get rid of the ball, he throws it out of bounds. That's perfectly fine by me. You know, Madden, I know this has been beaten to death like a dead horse. They could do statistics for players in between breaks and stop showing the stupid coach. They do it every year. Um, I know it's easier, I guess, but just, you know, for a player that Ooh, good spin by Eddie Lacy. Ooh, good fighting yards. They just could, uh, like, you know, after this play, you know, watch the highlight, and then afterwards, Eddie Lacy is averaging, you know, 4.6 yards a carry, and use his full name. Okay, five fumbles this season is an interesting stat, too. Not one that I want to see right now, but he's going to hand it up the middle and run into a wall, and that's going to be it, because, you know, plays over. So they're going to kick a field goal. That is a win for the Dallas Cowboys. We will hold them to a field goal. Only to hold. Mason Crowder be the kicker of the year. It's good. Second interception in the first quarter for Haha -Ha Clinton Dix. He just boom, lucky whitehead. Tony Romo threw it ahead of him, and then Lucky Whitehead went frying. Let's see if we can see that again. Woof! Ah! It tossed it. So the Packers are coming back on offense. Soft middle of the Cowboys defense here, without Sean Lee in the game. Right up the middle, James Starks for a touchdown. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Uh-oh. 70-yard touchdown for Lucky Whitehead. He pulled up last time. This time he got behind the defense. And there was just no one to catch him. That's unfortunate. Oh. Touchdown, Cowboys. Oh, it's just getting worse. Got a blocked kick. Thankfully, they didn't score a touchdown from it. But it's like first and five now. Packers on defense, up by three. So 
So a win is if they can hold them to a field goal. Let's see what happens here. Ezekiel Elliott, nowhere to go. Nick Perry and Morgan Burnett. Shut that down. The Clapper. Mike McCarthy is the coach of the Cowboys. It's going to be interesting. What can we do with Dak Prescott? Can he actually run the ball? That'll be funny. Oh man, Lucky Whitehead is just ruining the Packers right now. After he caused that interception, Dallas is in the lead. Guess what? Haha, <laughs> Clayton Dix got another interception. He has three in the first half. Uh, over down one. So, here comes the Blades throwing it out. So. Mount Packers. Here, all the way down to the one. Oh, that looks like a touchdown. No, he was probably a little short. Here's first and goal at the one. Unless they challenge it, which they're not. See, the Packers have thrown the ball 43 times and ran it 27 times. Handoff, Eddie Lacy, touchdown Packers. Heck yeah. People are fired up. And so am I. The Packers went for two to make it a 16 point game. Versus going for one, which would have been a 15 point game. And now instead it's a. No, it's 15. 14. 15 point game. Would have been a sixth. I don't know why they went for two. 17 point game? I guess there would have been two touchdowns and a field goal. Oh my goodness, Tony Romo has four interceptions. Oh yeah, haha, Clint Dix has three of them in the beginning. So. Cole Beasley there. Clapper's pretty happy. Six minutes left in the game. Don't let no easy touchdowns. Or big plays like that, you know, something. Defense maybe, a little. Here's one was pretty fast. Jim Grant was really fast. All right. Tony Romo back to pass. Easily up the middle. And they're making it too easy now. Big drive by the pack, just slow, nice, slow, methodical drive to take care of the game. Packers in their three forward, not getting much pass rush, it looks like. Oh, here's a run, and he ran into oh, he ran into Sam Barrington. Second down and six. Hold them to a field goal here, that'd be cool. Tony Romo under center. Oh, oh, Mike Daniels gonna catch him? Yep, sack Mike Daniels. Nice job, Mike. Third down and 12. Let's get one more of those. That's the fourth sack for the Packers. Aaron Rodgers had a pretty clean pocket apparently. Mike Daniels got double teamed. With the double team and got to Tony Romo. Uh, 
I mean, I'll pick Dylan Gunn in the draft. We'll be fine. My other series, that guy ran uh, four, four MVPs in a row before I quit the season series to go to uh, Madden 19, which was terrible. Madden 20 was slightly better than 19, to, except for, yeah, slightly better, but I think 17 has the most RPG elements, and that's what I want to play. Spend the experience on my own. Oh screen going nowhere fourth down what are they gonna do kick a field goal or are they gonna go for it this is a big play right here they're on the field fourth down here we go this is the game right here can the Packers stop them on fourth and 16 oh, looks like Mike Daniels got through deep ball way over his head Packers take over on downs yay Richard Rogers stats there. Cooled off a little bit. Two minutes and 22 seconds. A couple first downs and this game's over. Run the ball. Timeout Dallas. They're not taking a timeout. All right, see a little bit. Eddie cut the wrong way. He would have had a first down. He would have cut the other direction. But he did not. And so it is fourth and three now. And it already was a block punt, so can't be having another one of those. And it wasn't a shank punt, so. Whitehead's got a chance to return it. All right. Packers defense on the field again. Minute 42 left. Up by 15. And the Packers knock off the number two seeded Cowboys without Des Bryant and Sean Lee. And roll back to pass. Comes a late blitz. Hit as he threw. Intercepted. Ha <laughs> Clinton Dix with an interception again. That's his fourth interception today. A late blitz put the pressure on. Butler's clapping for some reason. I don't know why, but let's take a look at that. Pressure by, look like Morgan Burnett. Through a high pass, and Aaron Rodgers going back on the field again after one play. I get the ball back with a few seconds left, I guess. We're kicking a field goal. And it's good. That makes it an 18 point game with three seconds left. The NFC Championship game is going to be at Lambeau Field against the New York Giants. Can we revenge the 07 loss? The 11 loss? Because this game is over, everyone. The clapper is done. Mike McCarthy and the Packers are going to the NFC Championship game. Last time, in real life, it was against Atlanta and they got blown out. This time, it's the Giants in Lambeau Field. Today is a good day. Tony Romo had a five intercept day. Still had a great quarterback rating because. Completed 71% of his passes, but Aaron Rodgers 76% of his passes went touchdown rushing wise. Eddie Lacy, Ezekiel Elliott didn't get anything done. Cowboys, Lucky Whitehead, I think he had a big long 70 yarder, so they managed to keep Lucky Whitehead to 
few other catches. For us, it was Richard Rogers and Jordy Nelson. Richard Rogers being highly visible, highly busy. Touchdown with Randall Cobb defensively. Sam Barrington with all the tackles. It seemed like enough tackles. I guess there's, I don't know, total tackles. It's people that get half tackles, I guess. All right, sacks. All right, Daniels with a half, one and a half. Nick Perry. Big offensive line, but haha, -ha, Clinton Dix definitely wins Defensive Player of the Week. No doubt about that. We'll, we'll flip to the NFC Championship game and then for NFC Champion Week. Let me look at that real quick. Mom's here. Yeah. Bye. All right, let's look at who we beat. We beat the Cowboys. So, uh, playoff schedule. We're playing the Giants, and the Jaguars playing the Chiefs for a chance to go to the Super Bowl. It's great. Aaron Rodgers had a good game. One touchdown, no interceptions. Not really that great, but he's only sacked one time and completed 76% of his passes. Tony Robo had a terrible day. Five interceptions, running the ball. Almost 100 yards for Eddie Lacy. Team starts with 15. Receiving. Packers only. Oop. EA servers aren't available for some reason right now. I don't know why that is. But uh, Richard Rogers, Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb, Cordell Patterson had a game, a catch. What's this show? Oh, I know we have to go to uh, General, huh? Let's see who who played and who didn't play. So 39 plays for Demarius Randall. Seems like we have too many offensive plays, huh? Cordell Patterson had 19. I want to see if. Greg Jennings got in three plays. Does Min Bishop three plays? So no punting. Heartburn. Trey Archer's broken. Trent Richardson didn't get in. Blake Martinez didn't get in. Kyle Frackle didn't get in. Jason Spriggs didn't get in. I guess the the um man, did that mean that the Cowboys only ran? Tony Romo, 41 plays. So we definitely got more plays in than they did. Um, that's interesting. Of course, you throw five interceptions. I guess your plays are going to be down more. So, okay. We're playing the dreaded Giants. And if we look at the regular season for that, we got smashed by the Giants last time we played them. Oh boy. Aaron Rodgers had a 15%, 15 point place in practice percentage. Blah, blah, blah. 8 for 21. So as long as Aaron Rodgers doesn't play like that, couldn't stop Rashawn Jennings. Odell Beckham Jr. wasn't Defensively, Quentin Rollins, Mike Daniels, do we have any sacks on him? Two sacks for Julius Peppers. 
and a Quentin Rollins interception, we have to. Aaron Rodgers just has to play better. I mean, that. As long as he plays better, we can get that done. Let's look at the uh, injury scene for the Giants, who just upset the Saints. Well, let's uh, let's look at that game too, real quick. Thirty-one to twenty-one. Drew Brees, three touchdowns. Eli Manning, three touchdowns. So, no real good defense there. No running for the no running for uh, the Saints at all. So look, receiving. Oh wow, Odell Beckham Jr. Michael Thomas did, must have not played. He must have been hurt. Let's let's look at general for the Saints only. Is that CJ Spiller? Yeah. Nope. Oh, Michael Thomas three plays and then. Out he went, so that probably had a big deal with that. Okay, injury center for the Giants. We have R2. Oh, Brian Balaga can play in the Super Bowl. Oh, no, what am I doing? I want to go to the Giants. Justin Pugh, Bennett Jackson. They do show that overall, so that's their probably their starting left guard. Okay, and then we're gonna do the duck chart for the Giants. Okay, EA servers are not available at this time. Eli Manning, Packers Kryptonite, Ryan Nesson. Green. So, okay, okay, okay. Odell Beckham Jr. Ugh, brutal. Victor Cruz. Sterling Shepard. Larry Donald. Eric Flowers. Let's see if we can. We just faced a really good offensive line, so. Marshall Newhouse. Hey, Marshall Newhouse. We like him. Jason Peter Paul. Pierre Paul. Jonathan Hankins and Snacks Harrison. Definitely a 4 3 defense here. Cornerbacks. Let's see if we can get. Eli Apple uh, picked on a little bit. Lila Collins. Cardi Rambo. I haven't heard that name in a while. Okay, let's get this game started in the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.